If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 4 of Learn K6 series, today we are going to talk about HTTP methods. As you already know, HTTP methods is a set of request methods which will perform the desired action on the given resource. It is often known as HTTP verbs. Commonly used HTTP verbs are get, post, put, patch, etc. Now let us see how we can make use of the HTTP methods in K6. In K6, if you want to make a HTTP method, you have to import K6 slash HTTP module so that you can make use of all the functionality. K6 supports get method, post, put, patch, delete options and also it has the batch method and request method. In the demo, we are going to deep dive into batch and request and K6 will automatically apply the tag information which will be very helpful in filtering and result analysis. For example, if you see the tag information, the name, group, scenario and the URL. So this information will be automatically added when you publish your results using the JSON format. Now let us see a quick demo about the HTTP methods in K6. All the examples mentioned in this video are available in the GitHub repository. You can check it out in the link in the description. As you know, in the line number one, we are importing the HTTP function from the K6 slash HTTP module. Similarly, we are importing the sleep function from the K6 module. In line number five, we are making get method requesting for the resource recres.in and then we are sleeping for one second. So this will get the resource and then it will display the relevant details when you run your script. Now let us go to the terminal and issue the k6 run and http get.js and hit enter. So this will run and then it will display the statistics. So as of now we are not printing anything in the console so it will be blank but you can see the http statistics. If you scroll up, you can see this error called error from API server and it is trying to bind the port 6565. So whenever you run K6 script, it will publish the metrics to the port 6565. But right now in my machine, the port number 6565 is being used by some other application. So K6 is not able to bind this particular port. To avoid this error, we have to send the argument called address. Now let me clear my screen and let us send the k6 run and http get.js and I am going to send the address argument using the different port number. Now if you hit enter you don't see that error anymore. So if you want to send some custom port you can make use of hyphen hyphen address and the available port number. Now let us go to the http post method. So here I have mentioned all the methods except batch. So let us start with post. So post as you know it will update your resource. To make use of post you have to make http.post method and then you have to send the URL and the payload information. So in this payload we are sending name and job and also we are sending some header information. In line number 15 we are printing the JSON dot name from the response. Similarly, we have put method. So put method will update the resource. So here again, we are making use of HTTP dot put and the header information is uh, JSON and then we are printing the updated name. Patch also will patch the resource. So again, we are sending the JSON tags and the patch payload and the patch name and we are deleting the particular user and then we are validating whether the delete is successful or not using the http status code 204 and in line number 49 we are making use of http.options so options will help you to get the which method you can do on the particular resource so whenever you execute http.options it will give you the allowed methods whether you can do get or post or patch etc and the custom method will help you to programmatically send some http requests using the http.request 
So here you have to mention the method type and the payload and then we are trying to print the HTTP status from the response. Now let me clear my screen and let us execute this particular HTTP post and let us uh, pass the address as different uh, port number and hit enter. Now if you see your console output, you can see the post method and the name of the resource and put method again the updated name, patch also the patched name and in the options method you can see you can do options get head post for the particular resource. Similarly custom method also it is retrieving the HTTP status code 200 which is success and if you scroll down you can see all other statistics and also the check also it is pass and everything is working fine in this particular methods. So this is how you make use of all the HTTP methods in K6 so that you can achieve your functionality. Now let us go to HTTP batch.js. So HTTP batch will help you to send the multiple HTTP requests parallelly using the multiple TCP connections just like your browser. So here we are making use of online boutique.dev and also we are sending the other resources such as CSS, SVG and JPG. So when you run this particular batch, it will send the multiple HTTP requests parallelly using multiple TCP connections. So in line number 14, we are printing the requests zero dot status. So here everything is an array. So zero means you are pointing the first item in the array which is online boutique dot dev. And you can make use of requests dot length to iterate all over the request and then you can print the status of all your requests. Now let me clear my screen and let us send this particular information http batch.js and again the address is different port number and hit enter. So now if you just scroll up and you can see all the requests is giving 200 success code. So this request will be sent over at the same time using multiple TCP connections. Now let us deep dive into this particular batch request. Now let us go to HTTP batch objects.js. So here in line number four, I have mentioned the batch count and batch per host. So by default, it will try to open 20 connections. You can customize this connections using the batch value. And if you want to customize the batch per host, you can also customize using this particular key. Default batch per host is 6 and the batch value is 20 in K6. And line number 11 we have one request method is get and the URL is example.com. In line number 16 uh, we have a method get again the URL is duckduckgo.com. Now if you want to send these two URLs at the same time you can create as a batch and send it as a array format. And line number 23 will check for the status example.com and line number 27 will check for the duckduckgo.com. And in line number 32, we have a request called named requests. So basically, if you want to name your requests in your batch, then you can name it using the key value pair. And here we have the home page and we have the pricing page. So by default, if you're not specified any HTTP method, then it will assume as get method. But if you want to explicitly set the method, you can use the method key. So this will send the request as a batch. So it will hit k6.io and k6.io slash pricing at the same time. And then we are just printing in line number 41 and 42. Now let me clear my screen in the terminal and let us execute the k6 run http batch objects with the address 15656. Now if you see the output, you can see example.com was 200 success, duckduckgo.com was also success and in the console output also you can see home page response, pricing response, so everything is success. So this is how you make use of uh, http batch method in k6 to send the requests parallelly using multiple TCP connections. 
So that's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.